This morning I'm doing my omelet. And what I usually do is I make enough of my mixture for two omelets so I have one today and maybe one tomorrow the next day. I can only hold this mix for two days and, and that's it because it's egg. What I have here is one cup of egg white, but I like the yolk. So I add one large egg to it. I just like to take this. Uh oh. Take this little thing in here and mix it up. And there you go. So I'll take that and that'll be the base for my omelet. Now I have a medium hot pan there, two teaspoons of canola oil as opposed to butter. So I have some vegetables here, green pepper, red pepper and onion, just a little bit, half a tablespoon of each. And I have two ounces of cooked sausage actually turkey sausage for a lighter, healthier omelet. Okay, the vegetables are beginning to wilt. I'm going to pour in half of my Half of my omelet mix, turn the heat up just a little bit. Okay, let's see, we've started cooking a little bit here. Now this is best done, I love stainless steel, I cook in stainless steel a whole lot. But for omelets, especially omelets that are based on egg white, you might want to use nonstick for the most part. And I just move my mixture back and forth over this low to medium heat. And this is about where I want it. This is not low fat cheese, which I usually use, but I have some of this left over from another recipe, nice covered jack. We're going to take this omelet and just fold it. Oh yeah, look at that. And bring it right out onto the dish. And that's the way I do mine. I always like to try to have a piece of fruit with my breakfast. So in this case, this time of year, peach is nice. So I just take a peach and I go around it and I give it a twist to break it up and take half of it out and the other half still retains the seed. Just slice it into a few wedges. That way it's easier to eat, you know, for me. I like, I like things easy. And we're just going to put them on there, like that. And that's beautiful. Thank you.